Further pictures show the North African aerodromes at points along the coast. Some of them had to be taken by force, and here the newly formed RAF regiment did good work. A familiar figure here is the Premier's son, Captain Randolph Churchill. Prisoners from the German Air Force are to be seen in considerable numbers in Algiers. They are being transferred by sea to a place of greater security. There were also Italian, Army, Navy and Air Force prisoners. But it's as well to be reminded that all this great gain did not fall into our hands without casualties. We are still fighting hard in Tunisia. And in these landings we suffered losses from Axis aerial bombardment and submarines. These pictures, just released by sensor, show some of the ships which were hit in the greatest combined operations landing ever made. Clouds of smoke billow up to the sultry sky. While we are not given the figures for merchant shipping losses on the Seven Seas Front, we are apt to ignore them. But the ships we lose are still a great handicap to our war effort and to our chances of speedy victory. We've seen our ships hit before. No doubt we shall see them again before we win. But though it's good to know that these ships were damaged in offensive action, whereas we've had so many sunk purely in defending ourselves, it's wise to take Churchill for our guide again. To make our successes only a spur to greater and still greater achievements. But our enemies are powerful. They consider that they will have the strength to wear us out even if they cannot beat us down. Their hope is now to prolong the struggle so that perhaps differences will arise between friends and allies so that perhaps the democracies whom they despise and whom they underrate will weary of the war. All these are their hopes. And so I say to you, here in Bradford, what I said when I was last year, nearly 30 years ago, when we have these taunts, when we have these threats, these menaces of the foe, let us go forward together and put these grave matters to the proof. Thank <laughs> you.